Today we are downtown Fresno in the historic Chinatown district where the legend Chef Paul is going to be dishing out for me some of the best soul food I've ever had. Let's do this. I'm Jason Ferris, owner of Fres Yes Realty, and I've lived in Fresno all my life. Join me as I visit some of the best food spots 559 has to offer. This is Fresno Flavor. Chef Paul's is a cozy, friendly joint in one of Fresno's oldest neighborhoods. Eating here feels like stepping into a different, more flavorful era. On any given day, you can find families, downtown office workers, and area farmers all joining together, breaking cornbread under one roof. Chef Paul, thank you for having me today. Hey, thank you very much for offering to stop by. <laughs> We've been excited about this one. Um, where did you get your start in cooking, though? In 1963, up at the Wonder Valley Dude Ranch. Huh. Uh, okay. In the summer months, I would go up there and work. Now, how long have we been here? Yeah, I've been here a little over eight and a half years, but originally one of the local pastors said, you know what, he says, will you do me a favor? I said, what's that? He said, will you please open this up as a restaurant? He says, we need a place on the west side that we can bring our friends to. Has there been any challenges being here in Chinatown? The best kept secret is the best thing you, anybody can have in business. You know, if, if you don't tell people and they find out they're enthused about coming you around. Know, and, and that's true, you are a very well kept secret. We've been blessed with lots of customers. It's a constant flow of new customers and old customers all the time. So I've heard a lot about the fried chicken, I've heard a lot about the gumbo. What are we trying today? Well, we have uh, oxtails. Oxtails? Yes. Back in the day, it was a food that they used to throw away at the packing houses, and the low-income families would go over there and pick them up. A lot of times what happens in this restaurant is people have heard their parents talk about meals that their grandparents had made, and they go, you know what? I remember my grandfather talking about oxtails. I'm going to try them. And they'll try them for the first time, yeah. and they come back. We sell probably around 375 to 400 pounds of oxtails a week. A week? A week. Can't wait to cry. Fryers, flat tops, and flame broiled meats are the name of the game here at Chef Paul's. Today, I get to try their most famous of dishes, the braised oxtail. Okay, first we're gonna start with the oxtails. All right. Uh, we use the prime or choice oxtails. We trim as much of the fat off as we possibly can. Chicken stock going back here. What we do is we put them in the chicken stock and we cook them with the maripar. We use celery, onions, carrots, bay leaves, avocado leaves. I think adds a little extra flavor to them. I have another seasoning that we make here in-house in that we put in. We cook them for three and a half to four hours. But once they're cooked, ready to go, we get them out. Those are gonna fall off the bone, aren't they? Yes, they are. We use that stock to make our, our sauce, our gravy. When we get an order, we return our oxtails to the skillet and we use our gravy that we made with the oxtail stock to reheat them. And once we take them off the stove, we plate them. And we put the sauce there. Lots of sauce. Uh-huh. We have some green onions we sprinkle on the top, and we serve them like that. And you have your choice of sides. And that's pretty much how we, we do it. All right. I don't even know where to dig in. Hey, remember, you have that bone in there. A lot of flavor, a lot of good flavor. Chef, that's delicious. Well, thank you. Now I understand why uh, you're serving so many. Where'd you get this recipe from, or the idea of doing it? You know, I'd say it's one that uh, actually my mother used to do when we were kids. But she would, she would like, actually make them and, and uh, put noodles in them. So they went farther. How many people hug you a day? Oh, I'm like goodness. wanting to get up off my chair right now. I can't let too many women hug. I have a very jealous wife. <laughs> uh, but there are so many. I, no one's leaving a woman who makes mac and cheese like that. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> my wife is actually the backbone of this business. Then my grandson, my... It's a family business. Family ran business. Love it. Let me tell you, if you're going to go to one place that I suggest, make it this one. Amazing food, amazing people. 
check them out on Facebook or on Yelp. Their, their hours are there, uh, their location, uh, and a little bit of their menu is there as well. For more stories on the people, the places, the lifestyle, the homes, and the amazing food that our valley continues to put out, check out fresyes.com. Thanks again for watching.